Hi, I'm Roger B. Welcome to this week's edition of Dutch Oven 101. We're tackling a main dish this time, and I want to talk with you a little bit, little bit about coming up with something different to do in a Dutch oven. I love pork chops. Huh, really? No kidding. I love stuffed pork chops. It's a thick pork chop. Now we're going to make up some stuffing in advance. I've got some stuffing right here. Okay, now we're going to take the pork chop. We're going to take the stuffing and very carefully stuff it inside of it. This isn't rocket science. Stay with me now. I could teach Steve the camera guy to do this. You've seen Steve Human. He hosts the show from time to time. I could teach him to do this. Wouldn't be as good as mine. Stuffed pork chop. Most times when you cook in a Dutch oven, if you're using a piece of meat, you're going to want something called a trivet. A trivet keeps the meat up off the bottom of the Dutch oven. Okay, great. One more thing to clean, Raj. But I learned a really cool trick from some friends of mine. Can you say red onion or a slice of apple? Put them in the bottom of the Dutch oven. Put the pork chop on the trivet. It also gives it some flavor to it as well. We're going to take some heavily peppered bacon and layer it right on top of that pork chop. And it protects that pork chop a little bit, kind of keeps that moisture in. Let's talk about pork chops for just a minute. Let's talk about any kind of meat that you cook in a Dutch oven. That's a $10 digital thermometer. Go buy one this weekend. Go buy one when you're done watching the show. Next, I want you to go on the internet and learn what temperatures meat needs to be cooked to. And then I want you to cook them to those temperatures. It's the moment of truth. It's what we've all been waiting for. Remember I said you could smell it when it was close to being done? We haven't peaked. We've done all the right things we were supposed to. We made everything just like we talked about, give or take. Check this out. Oh, yes. Even Steve Human could make that work. Now, we're going to do a quick check on the digital thermometer. That's 155, 158 degrees, which it is. That food's good to go. It's not rocket science. It's Dutch Oven 101. I'm Roger B. We'll see you next week.